My name is Sophie Yang, and um, I built a developer tool that um, that auto detects resources and files and generate manif resource manifest. And this, um, I built it because um, this will help us to use this really cool technology called HTTP2 server push. Um, so HTTP2 server push is a performance technique, or it is a um, it is a technique that makes your web load much more faster. And it does it by reducing unnecessary round trips between server and browsers. So in a typical web server communications, web browser will send a request to a server, and then server will send, um, sorry, web, yeah, server will um, respond with the requested contents. So in this case, a web browser received index HTML, and then once it receives it, um, browser is responsible to parse through this file to detect um, resources, detect um, dependencies. In this case, it's style CSS. Index, CSS, uh, index HTML needs style CSS to be rendered. So browser will send another request to a server, and then server will send style CSS back. So imagine, but imagine index HTML having three or four or five, five dependencies or resources like this. Then there will be a lot of round trips. So, oh, it seems very unnecessary. It seems very not efficient. So HTTP server, HTTP2 server push is very mouthful. <laughs> um, um, has solution to, oh, 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 oh sorry. Oi, <laughs> oi. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> My bad. My bad. No worries. <laughs> Just keep oh, sure. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, uh -huh, sure. Um, so, oh, perfect timing. HTTP server push has a solution to these problems. So, once browser send a request to a server, hey, give me index HTML, somehow, you know, like browser knew it because it parsed through the index HTML. Uh, but how does server know? So, what happens is that um, what happens is that it is our job as a developer to tell server, hey, these are the resources you have to push. Um, so what we do is that we provide a manifest file. It's a to-do list. Hey, server, pl please push this uh, to-do list. Uh, what it does is that, uh, so HTTP2 manifest is not required in HTTP2 protocol, but then it is useful to indicate to server that, hey, these are the resources that you have to push, um, push when um, browser requested. So uh, let me just give you an example of dependencies or resources. So index HTML might have an image file um, and main, main CSS as a, as a resources or dependencies. Style CSS might have dependencies like font awesome and script JS as well. So, so, so it is our job, as I mentioned earlier, to indicate those uh, resources needed in the manifest file. But then it seems very tedious. Imagine you have to write like 10 dependencies or 20 dependencies yourself. Oh, not fun. <laughs> so the solution is a developer tool that I built, uh, which, is, uh, which is it parses through HTML, CSS, and JavaScript file to detect these dependencies. So for parser I use are um, HTML parser 2 for HTML files, CSS3 for CSS file, and the Acorn for JavaScript file. And then what these parsers do is that it turns the source code into a, um, a syntax tree, and each node are um, each node represents a object um, in a source code, and then we can visit any of the nodes by specifying with uh, types and names. So this is a like CSS example. So I can visit, um, I can retrieve um, the G file or CSS file by visiting the nodes. So yeah, so this is like how I would write a code, how I would detect those um, dependencies. And so, so my friend and I built the one line. So if you want to use this tool, if you want to utilize this developer tool to make your web load faster with HTTP2 server push, what you can do is that you can install at common source manifest and then type manifest generate. What it does is that it will parse through uh, the files and generate, put all those dependencies into a manifest file, and it automatically builds it for you. So 
Thank you so much for your attention. So thank you. And then Common Source is a um, free and open source project that I fall in love with. It is uh, you can you can deploy your websites. It's like Heroku, but then it's like um, you can deploy any static websites. And it's a to me it's a next generation content delivery network um, project because it is next generations because um, I as a private individual can make can help web load faster by hosting a mini server. Um, not not as a like big server center. So I think I just it made me very passionate. So I am I've been helping out, and then I do hope that you use this developer tool to make your web faster. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, questions? Anyone? Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Easy question. <laughs> Do you like chocolate? Oh, yes. Lovely. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Can I offer you chocolate too? <laughs> Here you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Not mine. Help yourself. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Next up, normally we'd have our... Uh, um, but from experience, every time I do it, it's terrible.